As per the Jewish law of Moses, the maximum punishment ordained was to stone and kill the offender. There was no provision of cross in the law of Moses. <laughs> so, Jesus chose the cross. Jesus chose the cross for you and me. Denying him is not the right, uh, right decision. At least now you have to take a deeper look. Leviticus 22. Again, you shall say to the children of Israel, whoever of the children of Israel or of the strangers who dwell in Israel, who gives any of his descendants to Molech, he shall surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones. This, is God, this was God's mandate in the Old Testament. No more it is applicable. Leviticus 24, 14. Take outside the camp him who, who has caused. Then let all who heard him lay, the, lay their hands on his head and let all the congregation stone him. Again, an Old Testament law. Anybody who blasphemes God should be killed. That was Old Testament. God himself came down, allowed all blaspheme, accepted the shame and allowed himself to be, to be killed by men, ordinary men and he forgave them. So the Old Testament is no more applicable. But see the Old Testament. Let's know the Old Testament. That's it. Leviticus 24, 16. And whoever blasphemes the name of the Lord shall surely be put to death. All the congregation shall certainly stone him. The stranger as well as him who is born in the land, when he blasphemes the name of the Lord, he shall be put to death. That's the Old Testament. But then stoning was the way of punishment. Stoning alone was the way of punishment. The maximum punishment given was stoning, not crucifixion. Numbers 15.35 Then the Lord said to Moses, The man must surely be put to death. And all the congregation shall stone him with stones outside the camp. Deuteronomy 13.10 And you shall stone him with stones until he dies, because he sought to entice you away from the Lord, your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. So stoning was the, was the way to give punishment. Stoning. Deuteronomy 17.5 Then you shall bring out to your gates that man or woman who has committed that wicked thing and shall stone to death that man or woman with stones. Again, this is not applicable. Stoning a woman or man for adultery was an Old Testament law. It is not applicable now. Anybody who is doing it is violating God. Jesus is God. Deuteronomy 21, 21. Then all the men of his city shall stone him to death with stones. So you shall put away the evil from among you and all Israel shall hear and fear. In the Old Testament, hear and fear. That was the Old Testament. In the New Testament, God is love. So one should not follow the Old Testament. 